Okay, so now I'm going to show a decimal multiplied by a whole number with the strategy of repeated addition because we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So 16 hundredths times 4 is the same thing as 16 hundredths plus 16 hundredths plus 16 hundredths plus 16 hundredths. Now I could add all of those up and add 6 all the way down. I could also simplify it first so I know that 16 and 16 is 32 hundredths and another 16 hundredths and 16 hundredths is 32 hundredths and then I would add them together. Now I have two add-ins which makes it a little easier. 2 plus 2 is 4 hundredths, 3 tenths plus 3 tenths is 6 tenths and 0 whole plus 0 whole is 0. So my answer is 64 hundredths. I'm going to go ahead and show you convert to fractions as well. So fractions in decimals can be used interchangeably. I know that 16 hundredths written as a fraction is 16 over 100 or 16 hundredths. I'm multiplying it by 4. 4 is a fraction is 4 whole. So now I can multiply straight across. So I have 16 times 4 and I have 100 times 1. Simplifying, 16 times 4 is 64 over 100 times 1 which is 100. 64 hundredths. Normally I've always had students simplify their fractions. In this case we don't want to simplify because our denominator is 100 and we want to leave it as 100 so we can write it as a decimal. If the question was a decimal, the answer needs to be a decimal. So I'm converting back. 64 hundredths written as a decimal is 64 hundredths just like that. That's it.